hello welcome back to today's episode of my video series it's your boy engineer wisdom and let's get down to today's business okay guys uh, in my last video i talked about the two most installed uh cameras we have which is the ip camera and the analog camera so if you have not watched that my video you should go back to my channel and watch that video today i'm going to be showing you guys the two type of cable we use in uh terminating analog cameras the first one is the rj58 and the second one is the rj59 okay the difference between these two the rj58 has little strands like different strands in its uh, feed uh, pin and uh, why the rj59 has just one strand i'm going to show you that in a minute now what we need for this uh, crimping is just a cable stripper a mini screwdriver bnc's a power plug and a plier okay you can get your solo tape too if you need that okay let me show you the difference between these two cable i'm going to strip this cable out now this outer part is the negative this part is the negative and this inner part this inner part is the positive so this is rg58 if you watch it has little stand strands in the positive part so this is one of the different one of uh, the future that differentiates this from RG59. Now let me show you the RG59. I'm going to strip out this outer layer. Okay, I also have my negative here. I'll strip out the inner layer. okay now if you see this is rj59 it has just one strand unlike the rj58 it has just one strand on it okay so i advise uh advise people to always use rj59 because it's more of pure copper than this and it lasts more it can stay longer than rj58 so I'm going to be crimping the RG59. Uh, is the same thing, the same way you crimp this. That is the same way you crimp this. But when crimping this RG58, uh, you need to be very careful with this strand because if any of them touches the negative, uh, your video feed will be like it will be as if uh, rain is falling on it or something like that. So the view will not be that clear. So I'm going to use a uh, 59 for the example so you get your bnc you lose it this way it has this inner rubber so first of all you slot in this part secondly there's a little knot here you lose it out okay i like to bend this strand here so that the knot inside can hold it firmly you might not want to bend your own but i like doing mine this way so i'm going to slot it inside okay Do you see this? Now, no matter what you do, try to avoid this negative part to touch this positive part. Okay? This side is the positive part. No matter what you do, I've try to avoid these negative strands to touch any of these positive strands. Okay, after I'm done this way, remember this negative is this is still touching some of the negative, which is very fine. After I'm done this way, I like putting solo tape on it. 
it's just what i like doing okay most people don't do that but just to avoid stories i like to use cello tape to round this negative part so that even in future i will not have any story like it's touching the positive okay so the way it is this rubber inside you're going to push it up so that you can cover the positive knot then you now push it down upward and screw it all right so that's that for this the same thing you do to the other end then let's work on the power i'm going to strip this outer layer get your power plug losing this knot here if you watch closely we have the positive and the negative side so the red is positive the black is negative some other cable might have different colors so try to identify which one is positive so i'm going to put this here which is a positive Going to screw it in okay the second one is the negative no matter what you do try to avoid strands coming out here because if you have strands from any of this uh cable coming out it might breach breach to the next one which might cost you a camera okay So that's that for this. So I'm going to get a camera. This is an analog type of camera. So this far side goes to this place while the BNC goes in like this. Okay. Once you push it in, you lock. So this is just how to crimp or to terminate uh, an analog camera BNC. So the same thing that happened here, that's the same thing you do in the other end, okay? Now, if you are using separate adapter, you can use this plug. But in case you have multiple cameras, you don't need this plug. Or maybe if you are using a power source. If you are using a power source, you don't need this plug. So this particular end goes to your DVR, and this particular end goes to your power source, the negative and the positive side. So guys, that's just all about uh, crimping of cable for analog camera. In my next video, we'll be talking on how we can view it on DVR, how to configure a fresh new DVR. Thank you and see you in the next video.